Hi, welcome to the channel. Thanks for being here. I'm excited. In today's video, we're doing Arizona versus California. Going to be going over the cost of living, the job markets, um, the weather. So just doing a really great video on Arizona versus California. Let's go ahead and get started. If you're thinking of making the move here to California in the next few months or even a year, my team and I would absolutely love to hear from you. We have people reaching out all the time, so don't hesitate to send us a text or give us a call. We would love to make this the move as smooth as possible for you. And if you're still on the fence, please subscribe to my channel. This channel is everything about eating, sleeping, working, and hanging out here in San Diego. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, going over Arizona versus California today, our first topic is going to be affordability. So in Arizona, the median home price for Maricopa County in September 2023 is $549,000 for a single detached home. In San Diego County, the median home price in September 2023 is $973,000. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference um, in the home pricing affordability between the two counties. Also, another factor to consider is property tax. So in California, our property tax is usually around 1.2% and that's what it was in the year 2022 and 2023 was 1.21%. Um, and then in Arizona, the property tax for that same year for Maricopa County was 0.61 percent so this percentage is almost half the cost of california's property tax and then also if you factor in um, obviously the homes are going to going to cost a different amount as well so um, as far as for housing i think arizona definitely wins on this one because more than likely your home is going to cost less and your property tax is also going to be less on top of that. So Arizona wins the housing affordability uh, topic. Okay, next up we have weather. Um, who do you think is going to win this one? Arizona versus California for weather. So in the valley, which is like the Phoenix metro area in July 2023 they had 31 consecutive days of 110 degree temperature in the valley like so 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 hot um, and then also in those summer months you can also have a few days where it's 115 or higher those are more rare but definitely you're gonna get a handful of those through the summer um, now, I will make the argument that you can escape the heat by going up to northern cities in Arizona with a higher elevation where the summer months it's only going to be in the 80s, maybe sometimes mid 80s. So that is definitely a different um, argument on this weather cat category, but for now we're just going to stick with the Maricopa County area since that's the main um, metro area for Arizona. So yeah, can get very, very hot. Um, where San Diego, we have about 270 days of sunshine and 70 degree days. So more likely than not, it's 75 and sunny in San Diego. And so yeah, it's rare that it hits 80 degrees in this, well, and same, I guess San Diego County, it's going to be um, much different if you're three miles off of the coast 
compared to if you're in Rancho Bernardo where you're like 15, 30 miles off the coast. So in those areas, it can get 90 degrees. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think we're going to agree that California will win this category for the weather. But just making the points that there's outliers, um, such as if you're in a northern city in Arizona or, um, yeah, that it can, obviously not nearly as warm as Phoenix, but there are some cities and areas in San Diego County that can have um, 90 degree temperatures in the summer. But California is going to win for weather overall. All right, our next topic is um, city growth. So in between 2010 and 2020, Arizona grew by 11%. Um, it made it the fifth most populated U.S. city. And in that time, San Diego from 2010 to 2020 grew by 6%. So, and it's still overall like has a higher population. Um, it's in the three millions where Arizona is like 1.6. Um, but yeah, it's been surprising or I guess informative to see how many people are flooding to Arizona. And um, yeah, so 6% for San Diego County from 2010 to 2020 were uh, Phoenix had about 11% growth. And then also, um, during kind of COVID years, 2020 to 2023, <coughs> sorry, it continued to be the eighth fastest growing city, um, increasing by like 1.3%. Okay, San Diego still had um, growth through the COVID years. I know that there was a lot of headlines of like, the mass exodus of Californians leaving during those COVID years. But honestly, I think a lot of that was like San Francisco and LA people. Um, they were making the move to San Diego and obviously there was people leaving San Diego as well. But I think since we had a lot of people from Northern California cities joining San Diego, we still experienced growth in from 2010 to, or sorry, 2020 to 2023, we averaged um, like a 0.7% increase. So yeah, I think Arizona wins this category that just they've been on the top 10 growth list for years and years. And then, um, they've just experienced more growth in the COVID years than San Diego did. So Arizona is winning the category of growing cities. So our next category um, for Arizona versus California is going to be the job market. So San Diego has three Fortune 500 companies based here, um, Qualcomm, Autolive, which does like auto safety technology, Sempra Energy. It also has a strong biotech, healthcare, and tech company. Um, so those are some of the major job markets. And then Arizona has four Fortune 500 companies based out of there. Avnet, um, which does electronics, um, Freeport McMoran, which is a mining company, PetSmart, which is retail, and then Republic Service, which is a waste hauler. So it also has a, um, a strong financial sector and aerospace division as well. Also has Intel, which is a huge employer of the area. Um, so yeah, I think for this, I think it's pretty tied up. They both have growing, grow, growing job markets. Um, but yeah, kind of just different sectors. San Diego has more like biotech and tech companies like Apple is starting to move down here and healthcare where Arizona has a stronger 
financial presence um, and Intel, and they also have American Express hosts their financial transactions and customer service out of Phoenix. So I'm gonna say that this one is a tie for job markets. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think strongly either way on this one. Okay, our other topic is going to be things to do entertaining kids, which I think this one will be also a really tough, close one. Um, San Diego, we have the beach, um, theme park, SeaWorld, Legoland. We have the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park. So really easy, fun ways to entertain kids. Okay, and then entertaining kids in Arizona, you have a lot of, if you're into boating, I think that's something that's so fun to do with kids. Arizona has tons of great lakes that are nearby and easy to access. They also have um, a lot of great like water parks and even just like their high schools and junior highs, just their public schools have really awesome pools to visit as well. Um, that's just like a two to four dollar cost. It's so affordable. So that's a lot of fun. Um, they have like an indoor, a smaller Legoland Discovery Center at um, Arizona Mills, the malls there. So I don't know. What do you guys think on this one? I think kind of flip of the coin. I would I'm leaning more towards San Diego winning this one just because since we have the more mild temperatures, it's easier to be outside entertaining kids year round than Arizona. But also if you're a boating family and love swimming and things like that, um, the summers are easy to entertain kids as well. So what do you guys think overall? who's winning this competition, Arizona versus California. Let me know in the comments. If you're thinking of making the move here to San Diego in the next couple of months or even a year out, my team and I would absolutely love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to give us a call or send us a text. We'd love to make the, smooth, the move as smooth as possible for you and your family. And if you're still on the fence, go ahead and subscribe below so you don't miss a video on what it's like eating, working, sleeping, or hanging out here in San Diego. Thanks so much. Bye.